This Jacksonville Beach mom who killed her own child is sentenced for his murder. She will spend the next 40 years in prison. Amy Oliver pleaded guilty to second degree murder one week ago in a plea bargain. Her three year old son's death in October of 2020 came in the middle of a custody battle over this little boy, Henry Prisby. According to court records, Oliver was upset that she and the child's father broke up and she did not want to be a single mother, so she killed their son with a lethal injection of a sedative. News for Jack's reporter Janice Harris is joining us in the Duval County Courthouse where the judge heard impact statements before sentencing Oliver. Janice. Henry was only three years old when his mother decided to kill him. It's a story that has so many people heartbroken and stunned. Henry's father, Chris Prisby, sat in court holding his son's favorite stuffed animals. He's waited 626 days for this moment to see his son's killer sentenced. Today, Prisby's mother, Amy Oliver, was sentenced to 40 years in prison for murdering their son. Chris Prisby spoke in court on his son's behalf, referring to the boy's mother as the evil person. The only time my daddy ever, want, ever wants to hear from you is when you send a message to my daddy that the evil person is dying or dead. Three-year-old Henry Prisby was described as a boy that loved the beach, animals, and playing with Legos with his dad before his life was suddenly ended by his own mother. One after another, family and friends shared their grief over Henry's death and how Oliver's actions devastated their lives. A violent act that stunned everyone, including Judge Mark Borello. Uh, there's no making sense of uh, or explaining an unexplainable act. Oliver stood silent as she was sentenced to 40 years. After court, the Prisby family spoke, saying they feel like 40 years is justice because reliving the murder through a trial would have been too painful to bear. The devastation of it, and I hope that no one ever has to go through what my son and, I, and we have had to go through. Chris Prisby and his family now move forward with the memories and love of three-year-old Henry in their hearts and minds. It's something Amy Oliver can never take away from them. And Amy Oliver will be 88 years old if she fulfills her entire sentence. That's the first chance she'd be able to get out at that age. But with regard to the Prisby family, they also express their own concern and frustration with the family court system. They felt like that also put a great strain on the family when he, the father, Chris, was trying to get full custody, if not 50-50 custody, of his child before he was murdered. Reporting live at the Duval County Courthouse, Janice Harris, Channel 4, the local station.